Hi, it's me, the Bear Quilter. All right, welcome back to my sewing room. Okay, so I will absolutely uh, tell you all about my starching process, um, but first a couple of things. One, um, not everybody uses starch. I happen to love it, but a lot of people do not. Um, so for those people, either they use an alternative like Best Press or some sort of sizing or uh, nothing at all. Um, some people wash their fabric, some people don't. I am not a washer and I am a starcher. Like straight up, those are the things. With all of that being said, do you have to starch? No. Uh, starching is not necessary for quilting. However, if you do starch, um, here's the one that I use and I love it. This one is uh, faultless. It's the heavy finish. So this one is not as, it's not the strongest hold, but it's really close. And, and I really like this one. Another one that I use though, also by faultless is the faultless premium. And this one is a luxe finish. Um, it's a little bit lighter. It's more of a sizing than a starch. Now, lastly, I mentioned uh, sizing. This is best press. I buy it, when I buy it, I buy it by the gallon. I get a gallon like once every three years. I, I don't go through this very quickly. And I put this into a spray bottle like that. Um, and then lastly, if you're in the laundry aisle and you can find none of those things, I'm here to tell you that this kind of thing will work as well. Um, so this is essentially a sizing. Um, you want to use this lightly though because it's really scented. Okay, so I have about a yard and a third of fabric here. I'm going to go ahead and starch it. So I'm going to use my uh, trusty can of starch and I'm going to start uh, spraying it. And the goal for me is to saturate the entire front of the fabric and um, that's what you see me doing here. Once the entire front of the fabric is saturated, I'll flip it over and we will saturate the entire back of the fabric. Once the entire piece of fabric is uh, saturated, I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to hang it. Okay, since it is uh, over a yard, I'm going to go ahead and just hang it to dry. I'm going to fold it right sides together and hang it over my rack to dry. If you don't have time for it to dry, you can use an iron to dry it or throw it into your dryer. Once it is dry, I'm gonna use a lot of heat and a lot of steam to iron it, and I will uh, really, really press it really, really good with a lot of heat and steam, and that will help to also shrink the fabric or pre-shrink the fabric before I use it. Um, and so then it'll be ready to go and ready to cut up into tiny little bits and sewn back together. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good one, bye.